Hi, this is Glenn Bersky from MacSEOTips.com, and today I'm going to do a demo of Article Forge and specifically uh, the aspects of creating a new article. In the last video I did, I kind of went over all the menus and all the settings and stuff, and it took 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to be shorter here and just focus on generating a new article. Article Forge is a computer-generated article builder which can write up to 750 words of absolutely unique content, embed links, images, and videos, uh, and create an article ready to post, and it can publish to WordPress sites as well. So I'm going to get started to creating a new article, and I want to do it about a Logitech C930E webcam. I'm going to be very specific here. You have to be careful if you use too general of terms. Um, it'll start including and incorporating some pretty strange stuff. So be very specific with the keyword. I want a very specific brand and model number of webcam. For sub-keywords, I'm adding other Logitech webcams, the 920, 615, 310, the Conference Cam Connect, uh, so that it may pull in uh, related information about other Logitech webcam models. I'm still staying tightly focused. There's a setting here for the quality, and they call it Money Site Filler is their best quality. It can also do most variations. I'm not that impressed with the quality of articles, so I always leave it set to the best, the most readable possible, and uh, edit out anything I don't like. Um, I can set the article length anywhere from a 50-word blurb up to 750. I tend to leave it at a long article length that gives me the most content to work with. I have it set to add titles and section headings turned on. It will randomly create and give a few spun variations of titles and section headings when it creates the document. You can optionally add an image. You can set the probability of that happening. I have it set to 100% so that it will include an image. The images that they use are from imgur.com and will be embedded in the final thing. You also have the optional to add a option to add a video. And again, I set that to 100%. It will try to find a related Logitech webcam video to include in the document. There's an option here to replace keywords with links, and I've turned that on. And in addition to that, this new box, Add Keyword Links Replacement. And what I've done is given it a list of keywords like webcam, web camera, HD webcam, Logitech webcam, etc. So that when it encounters those words in the final document, it will create a link to them. And in the next section below, since I own several uh, webcam related websites. I've added the domains there and deep links to a lot of the inner pages on several of those domains. So I basically added about 18 different um, URLs that could possibly be anchored by the keywords chosen above as it encounters them in the documents. Um, I there's an option to replace the title. I don't want the title to have a hard link in it. Um, you can use a placeholder, uh, kind of a dummy word where uh, the links would be inserted. Um, but I'm going to leave both of those off. You can replace the first instance, and I actually should have done that with the article I generated, rather than all instances of a given keyword it encounters. So by with only the first instance, you'd end up with a couple of links likely within the document. Um, I had it replace all instances, and I ended up with probably 20 or more links, which is a lot to include in a single document. Um, but you can choose whether, whether you want the first instance of one of those words to be randomly assigned one of the URLs or all instances. There's an option to set article uniqueness, and that's turned on. If that was off and I turned it on, it would prompt me to enter my paid CopyScape account. So if you have a paid CopyScape account, Article Forge can uh, double check before it finalizes the document and assure 100% uniqueness. Also, if you have 
a Word AI account, which I don't, but if you did, you can enter your email address and their API key, and it would, instead of just spinning the titles and the section headings or paragraphs, you could actually do word by word spinning. I don't have a Word AI account, so I'll leave that off. And then you have the option to optionally post to a WordPress blog. I have set up two WordPress blogs. I could set the category that it's under, whether I want it to be draft or published. I'm going to actually do that manually. And at that point, I would hit Create New Article. Back at the top, it would process that. And now I'm going to switch windows to the final result. And so here's the article that Article Forge generated. Logitech Webcam Fundamentals Explained. And here we see that it did, in fact, the word webcam has been turned into a link. Here's another instance where the word webcam, the word chat, got turned into a link. It included an image, but in this case, unfortunately, it grabbed a Philips web camera and not the C930E model. In other versions of this article I've generated, it did grab the correct model uh, image of Logitech webcam. And here we see we have more paragraphs. Here's one of the, uh, another section header, and then additional ones. And then at the very bottom, it did make an excellent choice, uh, C930E versus C920 uh, YouTube video comparing the two different models of webcams. So that's the final article that I ended up with. And at this point, I could go in and edit, tweak it a little bit. I could also publish it uh, to WordPress if I so choose. So that's what you kind of end up with. I did have it publish to my free WordPress blog. I ended up modifying the title. I redid and inserted the proper photo. Uh, for the 930E model of webcam, and went in and edited the text and some of the links slightly um, to change things. So, like, there was a lot of linked words webcam, so I changed it to webcam or HD webcam and that, and tweaked it a little bit. So I published it, but then I went in and modified it slightly, and now it's live on the Internet. So in a nutshell, here we are back at Article Forge. When you create a new article, be fairly precise and succinct with your primary keyword, because by and large, that's what it will generate an article about. Again, if you use sub-keywords, be really focused. Don't use very general terms. If I had you know, used like web space camera, I might end up with paragraphs or sentences about the web in general or about digital cameras or film cameras. Or stuff. So note, I always used webcam, webcam, webcam. Uh, so there wasn't any uh, ability for Article Forge to misinterpret that and start talking about the web or about other kinds of cameras. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. You provide a set of topical keywords to write an article on. I set the quality to the highest. I set the article length long. I told it to add titles and headings. I said include an image, include a video 100%, so all the time, always include an image and a video. I opted to replace keywords with links, gave it a list of keywords that I wanted to be anchored. I added a long list of not only my root domain, but subpages on related websites, all tied into webcams. Um, you can choose if I had a do-over, I would have replaced just the first instance, and I wouldn't have ended up with quite so many links inside the document. I opted to guarantee article uniqueness because I have a CopyScape account. And rather than automatically post to WordPress, I chose to do it manually. Well, that's it in a nutshell. This is just a slight demo of how to get Article Forge to generate the kind of document that you want uh, so that it's usable at least for Tier 1 and definitely for Tier 2 link building. That's it from Glenn Bersky. Visit my website at macseotips.com, and for a free trial of Article Forge, click in the link below in the description and give it a shot and try it for yourself. All right, bye.